Yo, guys, Urban Bars brings you the best UK reactions to rap, hip hop, and urban music from all around the world. And guys, happy Tom's Day. I hope you guys have got over the system because Tom McDonald broke up the internet last week and that was incredible hangover gang. Hangover gang, Tom McDonald said he's going to absolutely just short circuit the internet and that's what he did with the system. That was an amazing track. So guys, we've got another track here from our man Tom McDonald. And guys, it's different because it's called Not Alone. Sorry about that. I started because it's actually a spoken word track. I've not heard it, guys. So I'm really excited to see what this is all about. But guys, Hangover Gang, it's Tom's Day. We've got our man Tom McDonald. Nova's on the... You know it, you know it, you know it. And this is Not Alone. And it's spoken word. I'm excited. I'm walking out the darkness and I barely made it. Hope this reaches out the people who cannot escape it. Oh, this is going to be great, guys. I'm walking out the darkness and I barely made it. And Tom said he's hoping it reaches all the people who can't escape it. Made it. Hope this reaches out the people who cannot escape it. I was just like you. I was young like you. And I can hear Tom's being doubled with that kind of jigsaw voice in the background. That just does so well with him. Yeah, guys, I'm going to try and keep quiet now. And let's just check out our man Tom McDonald. I'm not alone. I'm walking out the darkness and I barely made it. Hope this reaches out the people who cannot escape it. I was just like you. I was young like you. I was trying to numb the pain I was afraid of facing. I was trying to run away from the hurt. I didn't know what I would do if living felt any worse. I tried the pills and the therapy and none of it worked. I know it kills, but I want you to know that you ain't the first. Your people can't relate if they ain't felt it themselves. It feels like everything they say when you complain doesn't help. You're... This reminds me of, was it many, many years ago, around the 2000s, around the turn of 2000? Was it the Lyricist Lounge, or Lyric Lounge in LA, etc.? I'm sure it was in LA, but we had a lot of MCs and poets who used to, you know, and this is, this is poetry, guys. This really is poetry, and Tom is dropping it once again. Let's check it out. I'm walking out the darkness and I barely made it. Hope this reaches out the people who cannot escape it. I was just like you. I was young like you. I was trying to numb the pain I was afraid of facing. I was trying to run away from the hurt. I didn't know what I would do if living felt any worse. I tried the pills and the therapy and none of it worked. I know it kills, but I want you to know that you ain't the first. Hmm. Your people can't relate if they ain't felt it themselves. It feels like everything they say when you complain doesn't help. You're sinking deeper every day. When you're awake, you're in hell. You think you changed along the way, but now it's too late to tell. It's you're seeking every day, but it does, doesn't help. When you try and awake, you realize that you're in hell or worse to that effect. So literally you're in a livid hell and it's a loop, like almost like a groundhog day. You just cannot escape it. Oh my gosh, that, that's awful. That cycle of just inescapable. <sighs> Deeper every day when you're awake, you're in hell. You think you changed along the way, but now it's too late to tell. It's like you were rolling with the thunder and fell. Because when the lightning started crashing, I guess you did as well. Your demons kicking down the door, they're never ringing the bell. They just keep tapping on the windows till they fall out the sails. Ooh. I know you're feeling defeated. You try to keep it a secret. Your weakness got you believing. You need a doctor for treatment, but taking pills ain't convenient. So you keep looking for reasons to go and flush them down the drain and find the faith to keep breathing. You. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's when your heart starts to pound in. Like Tom, Tom knows how to deliver. He really knows how to build the tension and then just. To... Oh my gosh. You did as well. Your demons kicking down the door. They're never ringing the bell. They just keep tapping on the windows till they fall out the sails. I know you're feeling defeated. You try to keep it a secret. Your weakness got you believing. You need a doctor for treatment, but taking pills ain't convenient. So you keep looking for reasons to go and flush them down the drain and find the faith to keep breathing. You lay and look at the ceiling all night when you should be sleeping, but you've been needy even pieces of dreams and failed achievements. No. You keep repeating the moments when you were beaten and broken, and now you're bleeding emotion. You just want someone to hold you. Well, me too. Hmm. Cause I've been standing on the edge trying not to jump. I don't need someone to hold you. Me too. I've been standing on the edge trying not to jump. Guys, that's someone who's reached the end of their tether. <laughs> There's no... 
they can't see anything moving forward, but they can't turn back neither. So they're literally on that ledge where <sighs> there's no way out, guys. But that's how they perceive. You know, life has been like that to them and it's pushed them to, to an edge. But they know they have to do something, but they don't know what to get out of this mess. Only say it so you know you aren't the only one. The only thing that killed the pain was smoking weed and getting drunk. Before I knew it, I had drank a case a day for 18 months. Oh my gosh. And that's what a lot of people are saying, that the reason why they're smoking drugs or reason why they're drinking alcohol or other forms of, you know, is to try to escape the pain of 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 the current you know they they just have to stay in the now because over the shoulder or straight in front of them is just too painful so they just literally obliterate everything around them and just stay in that circle of just being absolutely you know gosh and tom just said as well that he only said the reason why you know, he feels on the edge, he's going to step off. It's because a lot of people are in that situation or have been in that situation. And guys, you're not alone. There's a lot of people who've been in that situation where they feel they have no choice but to, to end it all. But there is a choice and there is help out there, guys. In our lowest ever times, guys, I've been through some serious situations in, in my time. I'm not saying 100% like this, 100%, but I've been in situations where someone something has happened that's absolutely saved me you know in, in times it's, it's been incredible it's like a miracle kind of thing you know but at some point i might go into that a further date but not not this minute but there is help out there guys there is help there is i was smoking weed and getting drunk before i knew it i had drank a case a day for 18 months I was sleeping with a beer by my bed. Last mm. call was all that I could hear in my head. I know there's too many of us drinking to try and forget, but who the fuck are we gonna cheers if we drink till we're dead? Mm. And when you finally get sober, you find the friendships are over because you don't have nothing in common. If you're not getting loaded, you call them brothers, you call them family, you call them your blessings, and now they call and you ignore the phone, and that's called depression. Oh my gosh. They try to tell you your misery is not an excuse. And you just wish they could spend a day trying to walk in your shoes. Huh. Just know you're not alone. I feel the same way as you. It isn't you against the world because I'm fighting them too. Huh. It's like you're losing control until you drive right off the road. And then when the vehicle rolls again, you get thrown out the holes in it. Then you notice your bones are broken and all of your clothes are wet. Soaking with gasoline, light a smoke and explode with it. Oh my gosh. Till the day that we're ghosts, you'll never be on your own. Because I'll be standing in your corner till you need me the most. I was put on this planet to lift you up when you're low. And you have like that i was put on this planet to lift you up when you're low guys do you know something we can't do everything on our own our shoulders aren't broad enough to carry the whole way guys they're not i know that sometimes we feel that there is no help out there but there is help guys you know there is help there is help oh my gosh i'm just going to will this a little bit guys Every, every single lyric Thomas said is just absolutely, well, this track's called Not Alone, it's incredible. Smoke and explode with it, till the day that we're ghosts, you'll never be on your own, cause I'll be standing in your corner till you need me the most, I was put on this planet to lift you up when you're low, and you have done the same for me, so I'll be keeping you close, I love y'all. Hmm. Whoa, that was incredible. So what Tom was saying is that, yeah, he's here, he's trying to help us, but also he's thanking us for helping him as well. You know, it's a two-way process, guys. You know, you help someone so someone can help you. That was incredible, guys. I did not expect that. That was not alone. That was spoken word, and that was our man, Tom McDonald. Guys, I absolutely love that track. That was incredible. So that was a spoken word track, not alone guys i don't know what to say it's it's a really deep deep subject and that subject really is you know what is inside us and how do we live with what's inside us you know we have so many different parts of ourselves you know the happy part the sad part the judgmental part the fearful part the part where we're confused, 
the part where we're elated, the part where we are very um, prideful, the part where, you know, we're envious, all these sort of parts roll into one and make the sum of ourselves. But at the end of the day, I suppose, in the deep dark of night, sometimes those are where all those areas where we are unsure of ourselves come out. And sometimes, you know, some of us can deal with that. Some of us can't deal with that. The insecurities, that's the word I was looking for. You know, we're all made up of insecurities, but some people are better at dealing with those insecurities than others. Some people are really good at masking those insecurities. Some people are really good at compartmentalizing those insecurities. Others of us wear those insecurities on our sleeve. And sometimes because we wear those insecurities on our sleeve, sometimes we are prone for other people to prey on our insecurities and to make us into a much worse sort of situation. You know, then, then there are other people who actually try to help us with our insecurities. But this whole life, this, this is a journey. This is, you know, this, this is a real journey for us in self-discovery, guys. And at the end of the day, I always say this trials and tribulations, guys. And at the end of the day, you know, we go through good and we go through bad. And it gives us the character and it makes us a better person. Even bad things that happen to us. Sometimes we can take life lessons from those bad things that happen to us. Sometimes we can't. If we can take those life lessons, it can make us into a better person. And it can make us sort of, you know, more aware and more aware of not just ourselves, but other people, etc. But some of these areas you know the trials and the tribulations can knock us and sometimes you know we could be knocked once we could be knocked twice we could be knocked three times and each time we get knocked it takes a part of us away it really does guys but that's why i'm saying and this is where tom is correct you're not alone sometimes the signs are there but we don't pick up on those signs sometimes you know people are put in our place people are put in our sphere and they're actually there. All we need to do is recognize it and to ask those tiny little words help. Guys, don't get it twisted. I'm probably the worst person to ask for help, guys. I really am the worst. But if someone looks like they need or someone asks for my assistance, I will almost, if I can, I will drop everything to help them. But that's the way this world is, guys. But what's happened is the way things are happening as well, guys, is that sometimes we all feel that we are in need of help ourselves and we don't have the energy the effort we, we we don't have the resources we don't have the capabilities to help someone else but guys i keep saying this to you people we are all all human beings and that's what i'm trying to say because if we could recognize that we're all human beings that means we are all part of one family we all should be trying to help each other you know by helping person a by helping person b we're actually helping ourselves as well that's what i'm saying guys but the way things are portrayed to everyone is you no know, it's everyone each for self just help yourself don't help other people and, and sometimes not even not help other people but make certain you put an awe in that person's way and stop that person from progressing stop that person from becoming the best person that person can be that's all i'm saying guys that's all i'm saying but Tom is absolutely right. I'm going to listen to this again. This was absolutely fantastic. So this was Tom McDonald. It was spoken word and it was not alone. And Tom is so correct, guys. Guys, we need to be forthright of ourselves. We need to say, guys, I need help. I need help. And if you ask that question, question, but if you ask for help, guys, and you don't get the help, then I don't know what to do. But at least if you ask for help, I'm certain that, help will come help will come guys but yeah that's a tricky one it is a tricky one guys I, i'm the worst person to ask for help i really am i really am the worst person because when things happen i just try and double down on myself and try and work things out for myself but you know i need to be more in that situation as well where i need to ask for help i really do but guys i absolutely love this this was fantastic really really love this it was not alone tom mcdonald hangover gang i don't know what to say i really don't know what to say but guys put your comments in the comment section maybe we can have a chat and a debate about this i'm really happy and i'm really going to put some time out to talk to you guys if you want to talk about this subject i think it's a really important subject to be honest with you it's an extremely important subject so if you've got anything you want to say put it in the comment section guys and guys it's 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 as we say always hangover gang i always say it's tom's day guys we're ready for the weekend so 
if we can we can bottle it up for a little bit i want you guys to go out have fun enjoy yourselves but i always say take care of yourselves and take care of each other at the same time you know just watch out for yourselves but make certain you go out there meet people enjoy yourselves guys we're all part of the human race we're one family guys we're all human beings and we are meant to be on this earth we're meant to have fun as well guys we are meant to have fun so go out and have fun take care of yourselves take care of each other make certain you subscribe 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 subscribe, subscribe. I'm really joking. guys seriously make sure you subscribe to my channel here at urban bars if you haven't subscribed to my channel and make certain you come back to the next urban bars reaction because guys i look forward to seeing you i look forward to chatting to you and i look forward to having fun guys take care of yourselves take care of each other and we will all meet again really really soon